Hello, my name is Yi Zhang. I am a research fellow at Dana Farber Cancer Institute, working on computational biology. This video is created for the course to provide an introduction to the NHGRI EBI GWAS catalog, of which I am an active user. Before we dive into the website resource, let's go over some background on genome wide association studies or GWAS. GWAS are observational studies with the goal of looking for a human genetic variants associated with some trait using a genome wide approach. The human genetic variants typically focused on by GWAS are single nucleotide polymorphisms called SNPs, and the traits focused on are typically complex diseases like diabetes, cancer, etc. This is an example of what a SNP will look like when you investigate a population. If you align the DNA sequences of all people together, you will see at certain places that the nucleotides are different in different people. In fact, since humans have two copies of the same chromosome, one inherited from mom and another inherited from dad, the nucleotides can be different at the SNP for the same person. Each version of different nucleotides are called alleles, for example, C and T alleles here. Different alleles will have different natural frequency in a certain population. And this is how G was utilized to discover associations with diseases. That is, G was basically looks for imbalance of the allele frequency between case population and control populations. For example, in this table, the proportion of T alleles in cancer patients is much larger than that of C compared to healthy people. So that with statistical tests, the significant associations will be recorded for this particular SNP. Similarly, millions of SNPs on the genome can be scanned, and thus a subset of significant ones will be reported to be associated with the cancer trait. This approach has been useful in the past decade in locating SNPs re related to complex and common diseases. However, keep in mind that the associations doesn't imply causal relationships. Instead, the GWA SNPs are more tagging certain genomic regions or loci and needs further investigation on the biological mechanisms behind. Nowadays, there have been thousands of GWA studies published and it's impossible to read the studies one by one in order to dig out the important SNPs of interest. Fortunately, the NHGRI EBI GWAS catalog has a curated database containing millions of SNP phenotype associations. There are certain criteria for GWAS catalog to include published associations. For example, a study has to be genotyping array based with more, more than 100k SNPs assayed at the same time. The reported SNPs must reach statistical power to be less than p-value of 10 to the minus 5 to be included. Moreover, it only includes most significant SNP at each locus. On top of the huge database that you can bulk download, the GWAS catalog also have an interactive exploratory visualization of GWAS SNPs with sortable tables and searchable headers. Multiple types of features can be queried in the searching box, including the following publications, variants, traits, genes, and regions. Now let me show you some examples how it looks when we explore the GWAS catalog. Let's first try searching breast carcinoma. There will be multiple related traits showing up. Each of them is assigned an ontology number. You may learn more about the ontology from this link, but let's now first select the first one that is more relevant. In the trait page, you can notice that there are more than 1400 associations from 88 studies. 
Let's scroll down to the association table to understand what's in there. Here, each line is one SNP variance reported by a single study sorted using p-values by default. Each variant is assigned an RSID from dbSNP, which is a collection of all human SNPs. The allele following the RSID is the allele with effect. How strong is the effect? For that, you can check either the OR odds ratio or beta coefficient. So for the second SNP here, OR equals 1.23, which means that for every copy of the C allele at this SNP, there is 23% increase in the possibility of getting breast cancer. And is the probability of getting this risk C high? For that, the RAF risk allele frequency is 0.47, which is pretty much high, and the SNP is quite common. At least in the study, showing by the study accession number here. The mapped gene column is the closest gene nearby the SNP. So keep in mind that this is not necessarily the gene being affected by the SNP. So now let's now try click on the third SNP, which will bring you to the variant page. And this is equivalent if you search for the variant in the searching table. There is a bunch of information for this variant here. The alleles are C or T on forward strand. So if viewed on minor strand, the alleles will be G or A. The minor allele here is T, with minor allele frequency to be 20%. But this is based on the mixture of all ethnicity groups in the database called 1000 Genomes. And there are different ethnic groups of different allele frequency. The ethnic group includes African, American, East Asian, European, South Asian, and so on. So which allele is the risk allele for this SNP? In the last slide, we know that the risk allele is T. Note that the minor allele here is also T, but minor allele is not always the risk allele. Sometimes there can be a newly evolved protective allele with very low frequency in the population. Okay, you may get more information of this variant if you click on any of the additional button on the right. Now let's scroll down to look at other available charts. This is, this is a table of all associations in different literature for this same SNP. You can notice that it is related to the breast cancer of many different types, including estrogen receptor positive subtype and N negative subtype. Screw it down, you will see a table of traits. In fact, besides all types of breast cancer, this SNP is also associated with systolic blood pressure, which can be relevant. The next table is the detailed study information, which reports the association table. So each line is a study with publication. And one piece of info that you may want to notice is that sample size matters, ancestry matters. GWAS study often have replication stages after the initial discovery stage in order to include more samples or to investigate another ethnicity group. This is because different ethnicity groups may have various population structure so that their allele frequency distribution is quite different, which is a confounding factor that GWAS would like to control. For the next example, I would like to show the case where we want to learn about the gene and whether any of the GWAS variants exists in the gene. So I, here I try to search BRCA2, which is a DNA repair protein important in cancer. So if I go to the gene page and go to the association table, this is showing all known GWAS catalog SNPs that are mapped to this gene. In fact, there are multiple reported traits associated with BRCA2, including lung cancer, breast cancer, and cholesterol level.
and most of the association comes from the same SNP 11571833 with the same risk level T. This is a good opportunity to show you you can put any keyword you want to filter in the searchable headers to get the reported trace of interest. So let's try discovering into the most frequent SNP here. Go into SNP page and we can look into the DB SNP information for this SNP. And in fact, the SNP is creating a stop codon in the axonics region of BRCA2. This matches the risk effect of T because mutating A into T will create a stop codon for BRCA2 and possibly creating a truncated protein of BRCA2 to increase the risk of getting cancer. Another feature of GVAS catalog is that you can go to the download page and do bulk downloading for all SNP phenotype associations or for all studies. You can use Excel sheets or any text editor to parse the tab separated file. To summary, GWAS studies are observational studies looking for genetic variants associated with a trait. And the NHGRI EBI GWAS catalog is an interactive website for exploring genes, traits, regions, studies, and specific SNPs. Other useful features from the NHGRI EBI GWAS catalog include summary statistics of all GWAS variants, bulk downloading of the results, chromosome diagram view of all the variants, and programmatic access of REST API. There are some other reading materials, including how to cite and credit the GWAS catalog team, and there are two extra useful videos about the NHGRI BIG West catalog on YouTube. Hope you enjoy the tool. Thank you.